So when gluing together two pieces of balsa, first thing to do is have your drawing laid out. This is a 90 degree angle here that we're going to glue together. Um, first thing you do is you have a board you put it on, and then you tape the board, tape the, the drawing down flat onto the board. This is important. If you don't tape it down, your sheet can shift, it'll wrinkle, lots of bad things can happen. So just tape, tape the corners down onto your good flat building surface. Okay. Next, we're going to use, this is just clear packing tape. Um, you can get this pretty much anywhere you need it. We're going to tape over where we're going to be gluing. You don't need to tape the entire page, just primarily over the joint. So I'm going to put a piece of tape across here. It's important that you get this down smooth and flat, because this, um, if you tape poorly, it will also wrinkle the page. Okay, that just takes practice learning how to tape that down. Now, the CA glue that we'll be using will not stick to clear packing tape. At times, wax paper will melt if you use the accelerator with it, which we recommend using accelerator. can melt the wax paper um, because it causes an exothermic reaction that can melt the wax and still stick through the paper. Clear packing tape doesn't have that issue. So, next, you take your piece of wood and you're going to mark your distances. Okay, I'm going to use a pen to do this. So put my mark right here. And then cut. This is a good sharp razor blade. It's a new razor blade and a little handle. This, this is nice for holding. Exacto knives work okay, but these razor blades work a little bit better because it's easier to get them straight up and down. It's easy to roll your hand when cutting with an exacto knife. With these, it's easy to get it good and straight. Apply firm vertical pressure until your piece is cut. It's cut there. Now, if there's a little bit of an angle, you can sand it down to the angle you need it with an emery board. These are great. They're stiff. They've got good sandpaper on them. You can sand it down just a little bit until you get it to the angle you want. Um, we always recommend cutting long, a little bit long, and sanding the edges down until they're flat. Okay? Now, this piece I'm not going to cut just because this is a demonstration, but you would cut it to the length that you need it. Now, you put your piece there to hold it down, you can just use tape. If you have a board like this, this is a foam board, you can pin it down using T-pins, um, but I will just tape it down. I get a lot of questions asking, should we draw the width? Here you see I only drew a line. Some people ask if they should draw the width so they know where the, board go, um, the piece of wood goes. You can, or you can just draw one side and make sure that you remember that for here, that always goes on the inside of the wood. So this piece, instead of going this direction, will go on this side because it's on the inside of the wood. So I've got this piece taped down. Now I'm putting my wood there, and I will tape that piece down too. Um, longer pieces, you can use two pieces of tape. Actually, I'll put that piece of tape here. The nice thing with accelerator and glue is... With this piece, you can put your glue on here. Just a dab. This is a very thin type of CA glue. This is a Zap brand. You can get super glue in your hardware section at Walmart or Target or any, any place like that will have super glue back there. Um, this is CA glue is, is what this is called, but super glue is the same type of material. You've got your drop of glue. You'll put it in place. Make sure that it's good and straight. Hold that down and then a dab of accelerator. This is accelerator. They also sell this at Walmart. Um, the Walmart comes in a small glass um, container that has an, a dropper with it. Uh, it's the same stuff as this. It just comes with a dropper instead of in a spray bottle. It works fine too. By now, your joint should be dry. It takes no time at all for the accelerator to dry that super glue. You peel your tape back. Like that. And sometimes this is a little stiff. You can just take your knife and run it under and it pops right up just like that. And your joint is glued. It's good and solid. If you want to, if you feel like that's not a good joint, you can add more super glue to it. But remember, especially building towers and things where weight matters, um, the less glue you use, the lighter your, your device will be. So.